I'm so not used to this. <laughs> Anyways, um, I was gonna say, I don't want my neighbor to be looking at me, talking to myself. All right, so how do I position this? <laughs> I think this is better. Oops. All right. So, fuck. No, this is not working. All right. Okay. So, why does it feel like I'm looking away from the camera and not looking directly at it? It is not working. <laughs> All right. So, is the room too dark? this is better yeah okay i know i would like to see it right here <laughs> might have to shit out later okay um what should i say i'm not used to doing these type of videos i don't like to talk at all especially for a working camera so there's this comic i've been trying to finish for the past six years i know right and to be honest i haven't been working on it for six years i've been mostly on and off with it and what inspired me to do it actually was just because i still watch the walking dead a lot I'm moving my hands a lot. I'm like the evil genius. <laughs> uh, and to be honest, the, what the heck am I doing with my hands? All right, these hands should just stay chill. Um, <laughs> and honestly, it's just, and I can't even talk right now because I'm know I'm being recorded. Uh, but, but pretty much what I was gonna say is that. In order for me to get back into the mood of the comic, I have to read it. Because if I just organize it and not even read it, I'm not even gonna know what to draw next. If that makes any sense. It's kinda like say for example you're watching watching you're watching an episode of Breaking Bad or Stranger Things. And you just skip to the last episode. You're not gonna know what the hell just happened. You're just gonna be like, oh, so this happened, but I don't know what happened before that. So you're gonna have to go all the way back to episode one in order to be caught up with episode eight or whatever. And right now I feel like I need to reread my comics in order for me to know what the heck I was trying to, I was trying to convey in the comic. And to be honest, I just look at them, but I don't really read them because I know I already drew it. And yeah, it's like, they're old. I was like, in 2014, I was what? 18 years old. Now I'm what, 23? <laughs> so it's been a while and I need to reread them because I know I've done a lot. And to be honest, they don't all look the good that good. <clears throat> I mean some of them do look good. Like I, I but what scares me the most is making them digital. And main reason is because, you know, people are just gonna plagiarize your drawings and post it online and pretend it's theirs and that shit's not good so i mean they're safe with me now because i have them but if I, once i start posting them online that's just just gonna bother me and i know i shouldn't let it bother me because i know it's my own drawing and i spent the hours drawing it so yeah i don't know but I do have a lot of them. <laughs> These are just blank pieces of paper to draw front and back. I used to use so many 
like I wouldn't want to just throw away paper. So I would like use whatever paper, like even from school and stuff. Like I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't feel right throwing away because you know, I, I want to save planet, you know, I don't want people to cut down more trees just to give me paper when I could just recycle the paper. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I know I'm weird. I hoard a lot of white paper. It's, it's what I do. And yeah, all right, let me get my other comics. So this is, this is the Walking Dead one I've been doing. As you can see right here. <clears throat> it's, it's pretty okay. And that's freehand, not trace. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of crappy, I know, but it's what I did. You know, you have to work what you have. So all my comics are in this huge plastic bin. And you can pretty much get these anywhere, like Target, Walmart, Big Lots, if they're still around. Or Amazon, whatever your preference. And yeah, it's just. I have so many of them that I kind of regret making them on paper. This, not paper. <laughs> making them on line paper because now it's like, it doesn't look that good because you just see the lines. But oh, that's how I started, you know? I started somewhere on the back of graded homework <laughs> or classwork that's how i that's how i pretty much just like after school i would always just draw and obviously i would finish my homework first but still yeah it's what i would do and this is one i, I want to do but i have to go start from a in order to get to Z, I can't just start in the middle. <laughs> you know, I really want to. Like, it's it's weird. I know it's just some of them. I know they're just bad. That's why I don't want to redo them. And there's a lot of more interesting stuff now than how it was back then. So that's why I don't want to do all of them. But yeah. All right, let's stop right there. I am so not used to talking in front of a camera. I don't know how TikTok and YouTubers could do this. This is not my thing. It really is not my thing. So this one, they pretty much go to the fair and a lot of crazy shit happens. <laughs> it's pretty cool, honestly. Like, it's cool only if you've read the, only if you read the, before comics, because all the villains from before then like, combined here. It's kind of like Endgame. You know how all the villains just gather up and just talk shit and then just like, all attack at once kind of thing. So, and I've never seen Endgame, but I've heard. It's like so many spoilers online. It's so hard to not like, can't see like any spoilers by accident. And this one, it's like, um, I can barely see it. So Muscle Mutt makes like a magnet and he blows it up. So Super Berserker gets freaking pissed. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, there's, a, there's just a bunch. Like, let me put the camera on here. I mean, you could literally flip. There's how many I have. I just... Don't feel comfortable posting all of them all at once because I haven't organized them good. I haven't organized them really good yet. Like I need to finish all like the origin ones in order to get to all the exciting stuff. I want to do the exciting stuff first because it's exciting. <laughs> so I'm conflicted. I don't know if I should just cut to the good ones and then get back to the original ones or do the originals first and then do the all the exciting ones but even then who knows how long it's gonna take maybe 10 years from now who knows but i hear like a 
weird noise outside my house. So I'm like <laughs> wondering what the heck that is. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna put these old ones away. Even though I really cherish them, I've kept them for a really long, long time. And it really helps having all your comics in one place because if you have them in one closet and under the bed and then in your desk, it really overwhelms you. So I have them all right here in one place. So that way I'm like, oh, where is that old comic from 2008? <laughs> in the box. <laughs> but I had to still scroll. Not scroll. I have to still, like, you know, look for it. So recently I fixed my folders. So now I have a folder with what I'm working on right now. One that's specifically for one comic. So, like, for the Walkers comic. You know, The Walking Dead. It's all on this folder. And I recently had to, like, reorganize it. Otherwise, I'm going to drive myself crazy. Having them all in one place, which is why I haven't done the other ones. And sometimes at night, I I would also like type them out what they're gonna say in my notes, and then I would send it to my email, and then I also have like other copies in Google Docs. Just you know how internet is like, you never know. It's not always reliable, even though it is, but like. You know, if, in case I lose one version and I still have another version backed up, just so I don't be like, damn, what what was I gonna, what was I gonna make them say? You know what I mean? So yeah, and I also have these plastic sleeves because I don't want the paper to crack, crinkle up, crackle up, crack up. <laughs> so yeah, it's just more preserved. And then I have some other ones just like half finished. Like I'm I'm excited to finish it. But what's so daunting to me is that oh man, it's just a lot of work. I don't know, I don't have the energy to do that. <laughs> you just, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So it's like damn. I really wish I had the energy and time to do all this, but I don't. It's not now. So that's one folder. This is the other folder. And then I also have a sketchbook. And then I put some comics in there, which I shouldn't have done. Cause then, you know, the sketchbooks, they're just, it's, it's like a sketchbook. <laughs> so I shouldn't have done that. I should have just kept them in papers. So you had to like flip through just to find it. And I kind of shouldn't have done that, but oh well. These are just notes and some other stuff. Oh, so yeah, there's this other one. It's like Batman. I created this like, it's like a knockoff Batman, but it has a dog barking at <laughs> So <laughs> I just wanted, you know, I wanted to have fun with it. Because Batman's one of my favorite characters of DC and of all time. I still like other characters, you know, Marvel and other DC characters, but, you know, this pretty much inspired me to do this. <laughs> it's actually from the show, so much, Crypto, the Super Dog. So, yeah. And. Well done, like, one, two, three, three sequential ones, like, in order, like, oh, this happened first, and this is first, and the other ones are just, like, random BS, <laughs> like, all oh, the Valentine's Day, or, actually, no, wait, four, <laughs> this is a Christmas one, he gets a new iPhone, you know, at the time, I had an iPhone 4S, and I was, like, Ooh, an iPhone 5, that would be cool. <laughs> this one's, uh... Oh yeah, this one's supposed to be part of it. But, yeah, it's like... I write it, I write down all the plot, just so when I'm... Just like right now, or in the, in the future, I help myself to like... 
if I don't want to read all of it and just look at the plot and then just be like, oh yeah, that's what happens. But even then, I try to use my own creativity and imagination just to add more to it and like fix a little bit here and there and then just, you know, make it look good. <laughs> at least my version of what a good comic is, but you know, everyone has their own opinions. Probably thinking mine is garbage, so. And yeah, so. I mean, I don't know when I'm gonna finish them. I want to finish them sometime soon, maybe before the end of this year. Like, and I want to post them on Webtoon because I know on Instagram it's just gonna be like, people are not gonna care. I mean, if they do care, not a lot. So I know that shouldn't, that shouldn't like matter to me because I know I really want to draw them and post them on there. But then I still feel like I'm gonna be silently like, judged by people who don't even know me. They were like, oh, this mother effer is drawing comics when you should be doing something else. Or like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be silently judged and I don't want that, but I know that shouldn't matter to me because it's what I'd like to do. It's a hobby, you know, like to keep you from going crazy. It's just to keep you sane, you know? Because if you're insane, then I don't know. <laughs> you're just insane. <laughs> Thinking. He's talking to himself. And yeah, here's one I did of Fortnite. You know, I'm mostly to do Fortnite right now. And I don't, I don't want to cover it because I know if I cover it, I'm just gonna get more into it. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna put my comics on Instagram or not. Twitter, Twitter's weird <laughs> for art. It's like, okay, there's amazing art and then there's like politics and news and drama and other crap. So it's like, it doesn't feel like it's a place to post your art there. So posting on Twitter, I don't really feel like doing it. Instagram, mm, Maybe for like a preview, but full on comics, no. Cause I'm feeling I'm gonna be spamming everyone. And even if I do, it's like, okay, well we go unfollow me if you don't want like my comics. But it's what I like to do. Um, Facebook, never. <laughs> I'm never going back on Facebook. <laughs> I don't even use Facebook. Um, I funny, hell no. It's just a lot of racist people on there. And it's just, it's not even a comic app to use. So I'm leaning more towards Webtoon, but I just don't know how to post on there. It's not so user friendly as Instagram. That's why I don't want to post on there. Tumblr, I mean, I guess I could post my comics on Tumblr, but then even then, I don't know. So yeah, that's, pretty much it for this self-talk and i'm a little excited to see what's gonna happen to my comics but i'm also scared you know it's just weird being an artist because like you have so many creative thoughts but at the same time you're just like damn <laughs> literally yeah you're just like damn i don't know what to draw like there's those times that you just like, ooh, I wanna draw this, I wanna draw that, I wanna draw that. And then other times you're just like, what's wrong with my life? Type of feeling. And it's not a really good feeling at all. It's like you cry, you're sad, you're depressed, you're anxious, you're frustrated, you're you wanna do more than when you already do. It's like it's like a weird feeling of self doubt. You're always like, oh, I'm not good, I'm not good. It's like a weird little creature that's in, this, this, in your in your mind, sitting on a couch, just telling you, oh, you're not good. And then other times it's with you, so it's like, oh yeah, you should draw that, you should draw that. It's, I don't know. So this is pretty much it for my video. I'm like, 
talk to myself in front of the camera. And hope you guys found it, or whoever looks at this, interesting. And if I change my mind, I probably won't even post this video because it's just too personal. You know, comics are personal. You know, it's my own thoughts and imagination. It's not something general you just talk about like, oh, the weather, all that small talk. You do at parties and just to like gap for a good hour and then go home. Yeah, my comics are just, you know, part of me. So that's why I hesitate a lot to post them online because I'm just not like, some people are just gonna be like scrolling through and be like, either do this or be like, you know, no, I don't like that. So, I guess, yeah. I keep saying, <laughs> I keep saying the same thing, but I don't care. And I don't know how to end this freaking video. I want to say more. Now that I want to be extroverted, <laughs> I don't want to shut up. <laughs> I just want to... Um, want, I might do more videos like this in the future, and if I don't, I probably won't. And, so yeah.